what's up youtube so a little update to what's going on in the garage a couple of things i have been working on and finally got a chance to get it now i will start off by saying this i am definitely not the first one to come up with these ideas but hopefully some of the people who are watching my channel can see these ideas and maybe it'll help them with what they're trying to do so basically the first one was uh i wanted to make a bench flashing tool for uh, HP tuners. So basically, this is a uh, this is a uh, 99 through like 06 PCM connector. This is for the 24 tooth motors, and uh, this is not including the E40, which is also 24 tooth. But basically, Home Depot little junction box cover, a uh, little toggle switch here, and so basically. This is a uh, power inverter. It turns uh, DC into, no, it turns AC into DC. It turns uh, 120 AC into like 15 volts DC. Got this off eBay for probably like uh, 15 bucks. And that's ran in here because uh, we need like 14, 15, or at least 12 volts, like battery power from a car. So basically, uh, this is how I wired this up. And it's write-ups on how to get that done. The second thing, probably the most important thing that I had done recently was uh, I had been porting a few of my heads on a couple of my projects and I had to use air. But I wanted to use an uh, electric die grinder. But the uh, variable speed die grinders run about close to 300 bucks. So what I did was I made a uh, basically a switch this is a uh, dimmer switch and I just put the numbers on there just in case I find a speed that I like a setting that I like I want to be able to dial right back into it real easy uh, I'm a visual person so me writing these numbers on here kind of worked to help me out but basically uh, I got a cord ran into the dimmer switch from the dimmer switch it controls the power that's going to the outlet here and so basically, I'll sit this down just for a second here. See if I can't set this camera up. Okay. So basically, what we have here is don't laugh at my uh, die grinder. <laughs> Harbor, Spray, Harbor Freight Special, 50 bucks. I dropped it and I broke the housing. So, uh, what's the next best thing? some sure tape but anyway so the way this works is this thing only runs at 25,000 rpm it's way too fast to port any cylinder heads right it'll just bounce around the port it'll cut everything up nick everything up it won't port so basically with this outlet I'm able to control the speed of how I want to uh, run this thing so I turn it on and I can say hey I want to port at about this speed this might feel good with the Tootsie Roll it might feel right with uh, one of the birds but in any event I can dial in the speed And so this is what I've been working on here. I can go ahead and turn it off. And uh, it's portable, so I can take it anywhere with me. I can work here on my bench with it. Really, uh, this side is what I call my clean side. This is where I put all my parts and stuff to assemble so I wouldn't be doing any cutting over here. But this side is where I do a lot of grinding and drilling and all that. And what I need to do is put up a small partition right here get all the rest of this stuff that i've been storing on the bench off and that way i can work on uh porting these heads now these in particular are 862 this is an 862 I'm not going to really mess with this head per se but i do have some uh 241s that i want to port for the c5 project that you guys seen so hopefully i'll be bringing you a video of that real soon i won't really show you the porting because i feel like it's enough videos out there of that but I will give you guys updates of the progress of the car. Thanks for watching.